the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame list. Nominees are out. We are rocking right now, and this year it is a very diverse group that includes some big name performers who have their roots right here in the metropolitan area. Well, I'm New York City, born and raised. Nowadays I'm lost between two shores. Great talent. Uh, New Yorkers on that list right there include Neil Diamond and the Beastie Boys, born and raised in Brooklyn, Queens native uh, LL Cool J, and Jersey boy rocker Bon Jovi. Well, with us now to talk about it is Simon Vazic Levinson from Entertainment Weekly. Thanks for being with us. No problem. Any surprises? Well, as Ernie mentioned, it's a very diverse group of performers being recognized yep. this year. And, you know, I think some observers might have been surprised to see names like LL Cool J or the Beastie Boys being included in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, these are probably the same people who complained last year when Run DMC were inducted into the hall. Mm -hmm. But, you know, really, I think it's fantastic that the Hall of Fame is embracing such a, a broad definition very of what diverse. rock and roll is. And, and the New York connection is great for all of us. Yes. Uh, let me ask you something, because, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, I know you've mentioned uh, Duran Duran, uh, Kiss, and so forth. Who was left out of this whole group? Right, well, you know, the Hall can never include everybody. Duran Duran right. and Kiss are two of the biggest names that you mentioned that, that come up again and again. Uh, you know, they're both you know, pretty influential and, and big acts. You know, Why are they left out? Well, you know, some of it has to do with, you know, sort of their, you know, perceptions within the industry, what kind of music they make. That, that's something that can, you know, sort of keep people out of the Hall. Um, you know, ultimately, I think it's only a matter of time until acts as popular and influential as they are will end up making the cut. All hmm. right, let's talk about Neil Diamond. He's sure. almost 70 years old. Um, they're eligible, what, 25 years after releasing their first record? That's What's right. a Neil Diamond? He's a legend. Why did he's it take great. so long? Right, well, he is great, and as you mentioned, you know, he's been eligible since, I think, 1991, so it's, it's a little odd that he hasn't made the cut, but it's really another example of really what we were bizarre. just talking about there. I think, you know, he's always been, you know, a popular artist, but maybe the kind of music that he's made has been perceived as a little too corny, too cheesy, oh, too pop, okay. for whatever reason, and, you know, now I think he's getting some long overdue attention. Sounds a little around. political, uh, <laughs> Simon. You know, I mean, you know, there's always some side angle to whatever it happens to be, right? It, there's a lot of politics I mean, Bon Jovi is right? so popular and yeah. all that. Sure, I mean, the, you know, the Hall doesn't release, you know, sort of the, you mm -hmm. know, the details of how these decisions are made, so sure, there's always a political element to, you know, who people are going to favor and who people are going to select. So. If you are nominated, does that mean you automatically will be inducted? How does that work? No, these are, th these are just the nominees. Uh, in December, a final list of who's being inducted this year will be announced, and that's usually from anywhere between five and seven artists. Are you an Idol fan? Uh, sure, you know, I watch what I can, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of this whole, I mean, we just did the story, you know, with, with uh, J-Lo and, and Steven Tyler. I mean, do you think this is going to be a good season? This, you follow all of this. Yeah, sure. Well, you know, I think Idol is really shaking up the formula out there, adding these new judges. Uh, and I think, you know, they're, they're going to be approaching the show in, in a slightly different way, which I think should, you know, keep things interesting and uh, sort of refresh things for people. Good. Let's hope so. Yeah. Simon, thank you so much. No problem. Great. Thanks,